this at home. Now, what we're going to actually use for our layers that we're going to make in our jar is rice and dried beans. All right, different kinds of dried beans. We have red beans, we have kidney beans, and of course we have black beans. Um, my helper today is my daughter, Maria. Hi. So she's gonna be helping out with this lab experiment. Um, so the main purpose of this is to actually look at four of the layers of the atmosphere and how they actually work as they go further and further away from Earth. This is a really nice presentation and you really get to look at this in a critical way. So I couldn't really think of a better way to do this. Now, some other supplies that you might need while you're doing this is scissors. Um, I have these little stickers that we use to actually label the layers on our container. You could also use post-it notes, Maria's right. Um, you need a pen or a Sharpie. You will need a ruler because we're going to be measuring inches. All right, some kind of ruler, some way to measure inches and your worksheet. You'll also need a cylinder that's kind of tall. Um, so try to find a tall cylinder. This is like a glass vase we found at Dollar Tree is only a dollar. Um, so if you don't have anything, you could buy something. Also, um, ask your um, parents or grandparents. They might have a vase or something you could borrow or some kind of container that you could use for this project. All right. Um, let's see now. So the first thing that you will need to do is to actually convert your milliliters into inches because that's just gonna make it a lot easier for us to do this project. So I've already went ahead and did the math to change it. Uh, there's plenty of conversion type calculators on the internet. I just looked one up instead of working through all that math. If you wanna work through the math, that's perfectly fine. I'll put up a website so you can look at the equations for that conversion rate. So what we're looking at here I went onto the website and I took it from milliliters to inches is what you need to switch it from. So just type in the milliliters. So the first milliliters that they were asking for was 10. That converted over into 0.6 inches. So a little over half an inch. And that's going to be our first layer of the atmosphere. So that is the tros troposphere. So that's the one closest to earth, the one that we live in and have our existence in. It's the lowest of all the layers. It also holds our weather, our clouds, rain, all that good stuff. It has over 75% of all the air in the atmosphere. And also it is the closest to where we are. So we have it measured out here in rice. So, you know, we used rice and beans. You could use anything from sand to sugar if your parents have sugar that you can use. Um, you could use food coloring to change it to different colors. The biggest thing is you want all of these things to be a little bit of a different color. So like the rice is brown, this is red, our black beans are a darker color, they're black. Yeah. Yep, and Maria's right, the kidney beans are like a tan brown color. So, first you want to label out your thing. So you do your measurements, you can do your conversions, you take your sticky notes, your little sticky notes, you write on them. So see what I have here is that first sticky note, I have the actual name of the layer we're working on Trosphere. and yeah, the trophosphere. And then I have how many inches we need to fill up, right? So Maria, what does that say? Six inches. No, look at where your decimal is. Uh, six inches. Point six. Okay. So a little over half, right? Yeah. Yep. All right, Maria, do you want to come over and pour the rice into there? All right, we already pre-measured the rice. So you can see we already kind of had that ready to go. And you see it fills up to the line that we already pre-measured and put our sticky note on. All right, so there's the rice, it's in there. That is representing our troposphere. All right, our next layer that we need to do is stratosphere, right? Yeah. And in this layer, it holds much of our ozone, which actually protects us 
from the sun's solar radiation and those UV rays. So this is a very important layer of the atmosphere because it protects us from being burnt and having skin cancer and things like that. So it's a protector of the earth. All right, so we're going to represent it with these red beans. So you can see them here. They're a way different color than our rice. So if you are using another material such as colored paper or um, sugar or sand, just make sure that they're different colors, not too closely together, it won't work. All right, so I'm gonna have Maria handful these in and we're gonna watch. All right, Maria, take a handful, put them in. And this is what you're gonna have to do at home too, is just keep putting them in. Oh my goodness, she's making a mess. All right. So handful, handful, handful. I might have to dump a little. Let's see, we'll dump a little bit. But just be cautious that you don't put too much in. Oh boy, okay. Shake, 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 shaky, shaky. All right, see everyone? Now we have our next layer. All right, so there's that. Maria, you wanna set these to the side? Here, Maria. Okay, next layer. It's mesosphere. So this is actually one of the cooler layers of the atmosphere. It is also a protector of the atmosphere. It is about the same thickness as the trophosphere. So it is, whenever you do the conversion, about two inches, 2.1 inches. So we have it a little over two inches. Our last one, the stratosphere, it was 2.4, so almost two and a half inches. All right, so you have it pre-measured. Here's our label. We're gonna use red kidney beans or brown kidney beans. Maria, do you wanna do the honors of pouring them in? Just be careful not to clunk the glass. Pour them in until I tell you to stop. Okay, pour, pour, pour. A little bit more. All right, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, enough. All right, shake it down, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, check that out. See? Could you use like spread it out different colors of M and M's? Oh, you could use M and M's. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> then we could have ate them afterwards. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we're gonna set these beans to the side then. All right, so now we come to our thickest part of the atmosphere, which is our thermosphere. This is the one furthest um, away, except for the exosphere and it also is very very thick now why i like doing this project is it emphasizes just how different the layers of the atmosphere are and you get to visualize it so i know this seems a little bit childish however there's nothing better than seeing it with your own eyes to understand it so that's why we're doing this all right so this layer of the atmosphere the thermosphere actually stops a lot of UV radiation from getting through and X-ray um, radiation. So it's a little bit warmer than the mesosphere because of stopping that energy from coming in from the sun. All right, so Maria has the black beans ready to go. Three cups of them. And she's gonna pour in up to the rim, as you can see here. So Maria, go ahead and pour in as many beans as we need. Careful with the glass. Pour, pour, pour. Okay, need a little bit more from the other one. Pour it right to the top without going over. Okay, and for those of you who did the conversions already, you're gonna know that this conversion's a little crazy. No, you did not do it wrong. It's just this layer of the atmosphere is very, very thick. So your actual conversion from 915 milliliters to inches would be 55 inches. And everybody's thinking, hmm, okay. That's a pretty big amount. So what that translates into is close to four feet. So let's go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Four feet. So four feet. I don't even know if the roof is going to let me do this. Ah! All right, feelings. so, oh my goodness. That is how much the beans you would need to fill the thickness of the thermosphere. So this is a kind of a small representation of just how enormous this layer of the atmosphere is. 
And just look at all that layer of protection the earth has. And that's one of the main reasons why we're able to have life on earth is the protection from the sun's constant battering of UV rays and X-rays and all the ultraviolet light and energy that comes off of the sun. So this is a good representation of those layers. All right, so I'm gonna bring down our thermosphere. Uh -oh. We are not representing the exosphere because of course we ran out of room. <laughs> um, but that is the outermost layer of the atmosphere. Now, whenever you are doing your assignment, there are observation questions at the bottom of your worksheet. And I will give you five bonus points if you take a picture with your computer or phone or iPad and upload it with your questions that you answer. So five bonus points for anyone that shows off what they did. And go ahead and get creative. Like Maria was talking about, use M&Ms. You can use Sour Patch candies. You could use whatever you want to use, as long as they're different colors. You could even use Legos, marbles, whatever you can find around your house. All right, so here we go. You have nine questions to answer from observing this. Answer them and put them in your discussion. And then five bonus points if you upload a picture with your um, written assignment. Actually, I don't think it's a discussion. I think it's the actual turn in assignment. You just click on where you find this. And that's it. So thank you very much and good luck. Bye-bye. Yep, bye-bye.